Hey, this is Will Wild, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the Freebird solo for you. Um, now, this was my first YouTube video to make it to a million views, so thanks to, to everyone who uh, who watched it and, and shared it and helped to, to spread the word. Um, I've had a lot of requests to do this video, so here we go. Um, I may not do the whole thing, um, there's quite a lot to this, but uh, I'll certainly give you all, all the key uh, key parts and key licks to it. So, first thing, um, this is a hard solo to play. Um, so, you know, if you're just starting out and you haven't got the fundamentals dialed in yet, like breath support or, you know, bending, then click the link below, check out my free beginner and intermediate course. Um, because if you don't have things like breath control dialed in, then this is gonna fall flat. So, the harp I'm using here is a wild tuned harmonica in the key of C. Um, you could play this solo on a regular tuned harp, uh, but it just wouldn't sound nearly as good, and let me show you why. Um, so the solo just uses minor pentatonic and, and major pentatonic scales, so you can get all the notes on a regular harp. But um, if we take the opening lick, for instance, <laughs> then that top note there is the sixth blow on a regular harp. So you can't really add any expression to it because it doesn't bend, so you can't scoop on it, and you can't add vibrato to it. On my tuning, that note is a draw. So you can scoop into it, and you can add as much vibrato to it as you want. Um, also, that minor third in the upper octave is an overblow on regular tuning. And to me, that just doesn't sound as good as having that note as a, a draw bend. Like you do on, on my harp. So, um, you can do it on a regular harp, but it just doesn't sound as good. You can't get the expression in the right places. Um, again, I'll put a link below to where you can find more information about this tuner. Um, so, uh, let's, let's get started. <coughs> Okay, now one thing to point out here, I haven't played a blow note yet, this is all draw. So, um, I'm going in, in terms of the whole numbers, 4, 5, 4, 6, 6, 6, 5, 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 6, 5, 4, 6, 6, 7, 6, 7, 6, 7, 6. And that 7 draw is bent a half step every time to a, a flat third. Um, and I'm scooping on the 6 draw every time I hit that. <laughs> and adding some vibrato there. <laughs> now that's where I take my breath out, okay? So you notice I do this a lot in my playing because most of the rock stuff, especially that I do, is 90% draw notes. Um, so there are little times when I really need to just empty my lungs out and I usually do that <laughs> just with a, a glissando down the harp because it, it sounds cool and you know it's easier than having to take take your mouth away so another thing make sure you fully exhale before you start this phrase And then I take another breath out via a glissando at the end there. So 
I played that first phrase twice. Four, five, four, six, 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 five, four, five, six, five, four, six, five, four, six, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, breathe. Five, four, six, 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 five, four, five, six, five, four, six, five, four, six, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six. And I'm just going back and forth between the the seven half step and the six draw. But I'm scooping on the six draw every time. Okay, now a lot of people ask how you get the kind of electric guitar-like sound. Um, obviously on this I was going through a Marshall amp that's a very high gain amp, so that certainly helps. It helps a little bit with the breathing too, because when you've got a lot of gain, you can really use like minimal uh, air, you don't have to produce a lot of volume. Um, so I'm not actually playing very, very loud there. Um, but you can hear, even when I'm playing just acoustic like this, obviously this, this microphone that I'm talking into right now doesn't have any uh, effects on it. Um, but I can still... get that kind of guitar-like sound. And most of that has to do with my vibrato. Um, that's something that I go into in my, uh, my blue soloist course. Um, but it also has to do with the way that I shape my tone. So um, in simple terms, I'm keeping my mouth in a kind of E vowel shape most of the time. Um, now, if you're used to playing blues, then you probably default to more of an R ah vowel shape when you're playing most of your notes because that R ah vowel keeps your mouth more open inside so you get a rounder, uh, deeper, more resonant sound. Um, whereas with E, your teeth are closer together, your tongue is slightly raised. <laughs> So you get more cuts, and again, you produce more volume with less effort. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so this is just a fast triplet. Um, this particular triplet happens to lay out pretty easily on my tuning because it's just three draw notes in a row. Um, <laughs> So I'm going six draw, five draw, four draw, and, and just repeating. <laughs> Again, the hard part here is, is the breath management and just making sure that it's an even triplet. Even though it's just three draw notes in a row, it takes a fair bit of practice to get that coordination down. So it's just one and a two and a three and a four and a... So this next um, kind of repeated phrase. Again, it's all draw um, and I'm going five draw, four draw, four bend, four draw. And it's just one long continuous breath in. It doesn't go on for that long, but again, um, I think when you're practicing it, practice each of these like fast repeated licks individually, just do them over and over. Um, the key to not running out of air with this is to stay relaxed. As soon as you start tensing up in your neck or in your cheeks or your lips, um, then you, you'll run out of air. So just try and keep as loose as possible when you're, when you're playing these bits. Okay, so that little lick there is three half step, two draw, two draw bend, two draw. And then there's a little four blow, three half step, four blow, 
uh, three half step, two draw. And then we're back to another all draw lick. Um, <laughs> kind of like the one we did on holes six and seven earlier, but this time on holes four and five. So it's a scooped draw four, draw five, scoop draw four. And then I double the speed up. <laughs> So it starts off and then and then doubles up. And again at the end of that phrase you can see I'm kind of turning purple um, <laughs> as I'm getting to the very end of my you know lung capacity. Um, so try to think of it like filling your lungs up from the bottom up. rather than sort of filling up your chest first. I find that that helps to, to stay relaxed and make sure you're breathing from the diaphragm and not, not tensing up anywhere in your neck. So at the end of that phrase, I'm just, again, exhaling on a <laughs> glissando to, to dump some of that air. Another little tip you can use for, for like airflow management Sometimes um, you can substitute one of your two draws with a three blow, or you can substitute your six draw with a, a seven blow, because they're the same note. So, so this lick here, again, all draw, <laughs> it's uh, like a, a minor pentatonic lick. We're going three half step, two draw, two whole step, one draw. And again, I would just practice that just on a loop. So here is a good example of where I'm substituting the two draw with a three blow. So I'm going two draw, three blow, and then one draw, two whole step, two draw, two whole step, one draw, and just repeating that shape. And the way I'm moving on that lick, I'm just kind of moving my jaw from side to side. Again here I'm alternating between two draw and three blow. So that's three half step, two draw, three blow. So this is like a, a slide lick that you hear in a lot of blues stuff. So I'm going four and five draw coming up from a, a four bend. And then I'm going to the four bend and slide in along the draw notes to hold one. And just looping that. And then at the end I'm going back up to that four and five draw and articulating that with a wah da 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 <laughs> then we're going back to like the, the first melody but instead of up here we're doing it down here so we're going two draw two whole step, one draw, and then two whole step, two draw, back down, two whole step, one draw, and then 
free half step and scooping on the, the two draw. And there, that's just scooping up on that on that free half step bend. So again here I'm using some draw twos and some three blows. Um, so I'm going two whole step, two draw, two... No, sorry. <laughs> two draw, three blow. And then two whole step, two draw. and then scooping up on that three half step again. So then it goes a little more um, major pentatonic, so. So we're going two draw, two blow. And then two draw, three whole step, two draw, two blow. Now, if you don't know anything about scales, you don't know your minor pentatonic from your major pentatonic, um, it certainly helps if you do. Again, that's all stuff that's covered in my Ultimate Blues Soloist course. Um, I'll put a link below. Um, so that course all revolves around you know, learning those two scales and learning how to improvise with them and, and make up your own licks using these, these two scales. Okay, so we've got a really fast lick here. So I'm going three half step, two draw, three half step, two draw. Like a, a trill and then two whole step, two draw. And again, if you try and keep your mouth more in that E vowel shape, try not to open up too much, and then you won't use so much air on this. Okay, so we got a really fast um, 16th note pattern here. 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a... So I'm going 6 draw, 5 draw, 4 draw. So just... 3 draw notes in a row, and then 4 blow. And then we're going into another fast repeated pattern. This one's a bit easier, so. So we're going seven half step, six draw, five draw, over and over. And then. That's just a four and five draw trill. And I'm putting some accents in by scooping up from the four bend. And then another big, you know, exhale on a, on a glissando. I think that covers most of the track, really. Um, everything else is, is really just a repeat of, of stuff we've done so far or a slight, slight variation on it. Uh, I'd be here all, all day if I were to go all the way to the end. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Um, links to my course below, links to the wild tuned harmonicas below. Um, I'll put a, a link to the original uh, Freebird video up if, if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.